Yo what's happening guys, welcome to your 6th and final HTML5 Forms styling tutorial and in this video we're going to go over some simple validation styles. Okay so you've probably seen on a lot of websites when you enter something into an input field like this, when it is valid it will kind of give you some feedback to say that it's valid, um, like a little tick or something, alright, or a lot of times it goes green to say yeah this is valid. Now we're going to do something like that in this tutorial and to do it we're going to use two things. First of all, in the index.html we would have noticed before this span with a class of tick. So we're going to give this a background image of that little tick image which is right here when this field is valid. We're also going to make this field um, have a white border and we're going to make this icon right here white as well to say when it's valid. Okay, so. We're going to do that by using the valid pseudo class. So you see right here, it says required and required. Now, this is HTML5 in action. It's doing its own kind of front end validation for you. So if you enter something which is valid, the browser is going to know that and we can use the valid pseudo class to style something that is valid, a field that is valid. OK, so how do we do that? Well, first of all, what I'm going to do is just style up the input fields when they're valid. We're going to give this a border, first of all. So we'll say input type equals email pseudo class valid. OK, and we're also going to do the same thing for the type equals phone number. So let's copy that and paste it down below. Change this to phone number and then style this and all we're going to do is give it a border two pixels solid and white so let's save that now and you'll notice straight away that this one goes white right here okay so this one down here if we delete that it's still not going white and that's because I've stupidly called it phone number when it is in fact telephone okay so now it should go white cool all right then so the next thing I want to do when these fields are valid and make these icons white. Now remember, from this inputs.png, we had those little white icons underneath the black one. So all we need to do is change the background position when an input field is valid to show this icon and this icon instead of the black ones. So let's do that. First of all, let's grab this selector and paste it down here. And we'll change the background position of this one first of all and we're going to change it to seven pixels along the x axis and minus 22 pixels on the y so let's save that and now we see the white icon there if i delete this it goes back to black but as soon as i type in my email which is valid then it goes to white cool now we want to do the same thing with the phone so let's copy this dude and paste it down here change this to telephone not phone number, all right, and change this Y coordinate to minus 97 pixels, press save, and now we get that white telephone number. So let's delete this, enter in a number, and we get it. Cool. So now what we want to do is also show those ticks. So again, we're going to use these two selectors right here, these valid selectors, and we're going to paste them down here, and then we're also going to use the adjacent selector. So that's plus. And we're going to look for this thing right here because this is adjacent to this. OK, so when an input field is valid and it has this as an adjacent um, element, if you like, then we're going to style this. And that class is tick. So let's say plus dot tick and then down here plus dot tick. And we're going to style those up. And the way we're going to do that is by giving it a background image, first of all, of this tick thing right here. So we'll say background is going to be URL and then it's going to be image forward slash tick dot PNG and then I'm going to say center background size is going to be 100 percent it's going to display as block the width is going to be 20 pixels and the height is going to be 20 pixels we're going to float it to the left so it edges up against the input field and then finally, we're going to give it a margin of 10 pixels all the way around. So let's save this and see what happens. Okay, not much at the minute. So 
let's just get rid of this little error I made there. Save that. Okay. And the tick still isn't showing, and that's because I've not spelt background correctly. Okay, cool. So let's save that now. And now we get those ticks, but they are in the wrong position. And that's because these things right here, they're not being floated left. So the tick is going to the next line automatically. So let's go back up to those and let's float them left. So it's these things right here, email and telephone. And we're gonna say float left. And we're gonna say clear both as well. And save that. And now we get those ticks to the left, cool. So now let's take this off and let's type something in. Sean at Sean.com, there we go. Now it's valid, okay? So pretty cool. And I know this is kind of like a basic validation style, but I just wanted to show you the techniques. We can use this valid pseudo class to apply different styles to a field when it is valid. So there we go, guys. That pretty much concludes our forms tutorial. Any questions, leave those down below. Otherwise, I'm gonna see you in the very next series.